Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Um, I actually wanted to wear my moon ring. Kind of needs to be cleansed. Um, yeah, that's the hand I wear it on. I just had to second guess myself. Huh. Something feels off. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right there. Um, okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are gonna do a uh, full moon in Saggy, okay? Um, there's, my anxiety instantly is like, oh, I don't know what that's about, so I'm just gonna kinda talk through it for a minute like I did with Virgos. Um, I even put some peppermint on because it's good with digestion and moods. Um, and my mood today is kind of all over the place. Not a big deal. Um, but you can be triggered. And I noticed if I'm being triggered, it's, it's like, you know what? I'm making like, like definite decisions like it, it's just so it might be that type of moon for you too it's definitely that type of moon for me um full moons is all about a release okay um how many times am I gonna say um hmm um I had to do that sorry so there's I mean honestly you could just google there I mean there literally is so much I've been doing um lots of research um holy shit now that I notice I'm saying um that's all I keep recognizing um oh okay Courtney shush there's okay do okay I need you guys to do your own research um I'm just not prepared for this, and I, I just want to get this out. I'm so sorry. I will tell you, um, like with this app per se, with Sagittarius, okay, it's spontaneous, broad-minded, joyful. Actions. Clarity is a gift with the full moon phase. The moon's light allows you to make adjustments with your goals and visions to, to shine that the dark places, okay, so the dark places can now become pure in doing it with intention. Don't be afraid to involve others in your action. Use a peak of power to release your vision. When it comes to working, Sagittarius Moon can bring you unpredictability in your work. Just when you thought you, <laughs> just when you thought a final decision was made, a client or coworker suddenly might change their minds. Everybody has their own ideas and will express it during this Moon period. Don't let the confusion overwhelm you. More certain times are coming. Haircut. The moon is a semi-barren sign, Sagittarius. At best, this is okay to get a haircut to maintain your existing style. Your style will no longer, well, your style will take longer to grow out hair color. As the moon is in a semi-barren sign, Sagittarius, try out only more conservative treatment treatments. It's not the best time for a perm, chemical treatment, or colors. But there's a check mark. At the best choice, at best choice something more conservative an earthy tone or suitable change so nothing drastic hair remover removal your look will be gorgeous this is like what waxing for longer longer if you shave wax or pluck so go for it so any hair removal like anyone just shave today it will last longer okay hair color it's basically telling you um Subtle, nothing drastic. Haircut, it's okay if you're going to do the same exact style. But if you're going to go, like, chop your hair, no. Which is funny, because I got a haircut and a color today. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. But I'm not I'm not changing my hairstyle, okay? And I'm not really going drastic. So, uh, so there's that. So, but, you know, this is more about being spontaneous, joyful, and broad minded expanded okay full moon it's it's released i don't even know why i felt the need to read that to you i just feel like i'm babbling um everybody works different with moon energy guys it's just 
it's reality. It is what it is. Okay. It is about releasing and letting go. Um, and your moods are like that. Sometimes you, you never know what's coming your way. Okay. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. For those who are really emotional, it will subside. And for those that are, are doing really good, you might have a day where it's like, oh my gosh, you might have trouble sleeping. I mean, it could be a majority of things. I will tell you this full moon with the eclipse though is, um, it's good. You know, it's, it's not one of those, one, I mean, it's a doozy, but it's not... It's not awful, you know? Some full moons are like, oh, this one, I mean, they're all supposed to be beneficial, but this one really is. I don't really know how to explain it, and I feel rude being like, go do your own research. But everybody looks at something differently, and, and when you're reading something or you hear something or it might just work better for you. Like, people are going to be um, kind of, like, stubborn and, and set in their ways in a way. You know, so it's not the time to bicker or argue. It's it's like you won't win. You know what I mean? You won't get anywhere. Like I just had a little thing with my mother and I'm just like, you know what? Fine. I'm going to make a definitive decision and, and that's it. That's what I'm going to do. Just like that. You know, because it's best for me. But again, I just read that and it's like those decisions can change just like that. But this has been on my mind for years, so I don't think it's just going to be like that, just for me. So, any hoozy, here's the deal. I do a soul's contract every week that I've been doing for a long time. It's one of my favorite reads, okay? Um, and I decided to do a soul's contract read for the full moon. All right, so you can get a little bit of an idea. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, and for those, you know, who are not on my Patreon... Um, it's uploaded every Wednesday, it is uploaded now, and you can just, again, have a little idea of what my soul's contract is like. Alright, so, I almost said soul's contract, but this is, you know, this is the full moon, so full moon's contract. Alright, this is what's going in, coming out, you know, yada yada. Majority of the time, it's going out. If something's coming in, it's not really definitive. I mean, it could be definitive, and it's not because of what I just read. Um, see? <laughs> I will tell you as a reader, um, energy, whatever my energy is, it's kind of like the energy that's, that's current. And it just, if you're not experiencing it, somebody else most certainly is, okay? So... I, I almost am like to myself, like, is there such a thing as a moon's contract? Well, I'm assuming yes, but hold on. Okay, so I'm getting yes, but how I want to take it, I don't know. And I can't discuss this right now. I'm working. Love you. Have a good day. Okay. So, yes, there is a, such a thing. Okay. So, I'm more or less... Moon's all about release, right? So I'm wicked fidgety. See, this is it's so funny how I can pick up on all different energies like this. Don't just don't worry about it. The energy will calm. Um, and and the ironic thing is, is that this energy was more potent a few days ago. Okay, so this is gonna go. This energy will probably go until let's say. Not even early next week, the next few days where it's kind of like potent and dying down, okay? Um, let me just think for a minute how they're going to address this to me. I, well, I guess there's only one way to find out is to do it. But it is all about release, okay? So... Well, not everything. you got to move forward, too. The release part is what no longer serves you. What doesn't make you happy? What's holding you back? Okay? Because um, there's so much other stuff going on in your life that could be extremely positive. And, and the moon's energy is a nice boost, guys. Okay? So 
We've got to look at things that way too. All right, so moon's contract, Sagittarius, full moon's contract. This is going to probably be the next few days tops, okay? Air dragon, help you raise above the earthly matters. Communicate honestly. Bring inspiration and hope. See life from a higher perspective. Silver dragon, illuminates your potential of your higher light. Access untapped resources. Tap into your soul. See higher possibilities. So this is both about higher. Take me higher and higher. And it's air. Um, it's like rising above. If you're going to communicate, be honest. This is like a, this is like a, um, an ascension for some of you. Because this is rising above earthly matters, right? So it's kind of like you're not letting certain things get the best of you. You're able to access untapped resources right now, too. But this, this also makes me think, like, you got to do so without judgment, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's like you got the key to something here. All right, orange gold dragon from Archimedes opens the knowledge of the new golden age. Be the care energy of the future. Be the guiding light. See, all of these is about who you are, what you're capable of, and how you want to lead. So I don't know if you're questioning this energy now. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Earth Dragon. Creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. So the new is coming in. Don't worry about Mercury. Don't worry about contracts, especially if you get a job. So, you know what I mean? Like, you want to worry about Mercury when it comes to what you swept under the rug and certain stuff. A lot of people panic with Mercury, but Mercury is so beneficial because it comes around. It reminds you of things that you wanted to do, things that you should have let go of. Um, and I know everyone's iffy. You know, electronics are a little eh. But um, I think we're in the shadow side of Mercury because I'm seeing the shades of the shadow side. Cancer is ruled by Mercury rules Cancer, okay? This is a lot of air, but Mercury rules Cancer. Apparently, this is going to be an educational video. So... And cancer is a sensitive energy. So be patient with cancers, Pisces, Scorps. Be patient with everybody, but... <sighs> Bring me a higher love. Ooh. What are we doing here with Mercury? I know we've been in the shadow side, but I think it's going to be pretty potent because this is that shade. And I don't have the shades on me, but if I had the shades, it will, like, this will subside. Now, okay, so listen, this is, I'm not even going to get into it like that. This is only a few days of energy, okay? So, with that being said, you're going to be in the energy. If you're going to communicate, I can't stress enough. To be completely honest with certain situations, okay? Because um, it is, it's inspiring. It gives hope. You're seeing life from a higher perspective. So you could possibly be inspiring somebody or somebody's like looking at you like an inspiration, a muse. Um, 
Eliminate your potential, not eliminates, illuminates your potential higher light. Access untapped resources. You got the key to something. I think you would already kind of know what that is and you're just weary. But this is all about carrying this energy into the future. You're definitely someone's muse. Or vice versa. Okay. Um... It's funny because that's all about the full moon release and dream, dream big, you know. Don't stop with your visual, visualizations, your affirmations, like nothing like that. Moon's contract, please. Next few days for this full moon in Sag. So you might be feeling like you're at your crossroads. Now this is either you or someone else, okay. We have a union. So this could be... Um, this could be coming together. I feel like this is more like on someone's mind. The, you're a mere image of somebody. Like, I'm surprised this isn't mirroring. Like, you bring out someone's dark side. And it could be that I think you're bringing out each other's dark side. I will tell you in the soul's contract for this week, there was a strong, strong life partnership, life, past life someone coming in or somebody already around so the shadow side is like the dark side of you you know it's it's the negative and it's not really the negative it's things it's negative like positive you know um cause and effect so basically it's like if you're being triggered or you're feeling this way it's because it needs to be acknowledged So you might, and then especially look at that full moon. So in the next few days, this feels more like contemplation because you're at your crossroads. But if you look at something in a higher light, higher knowledge, if you're doing something for you versus trying to please anyone else, you're going to be good. See, this is going to come out. Whether it's a best friend, a lover. Tell me about the shadow work real quick. Well, I guess I don't need to know about the shadow work. All right, so full moon sage, one more please. Let's see, it's like sticky. That's that's going down. That's gonna happen for sure. So it's it's almost like it's almost like lying to yourself. So you're fighting some of you are fighting evolution. Okay. I don't want to get stuck on that too too much. Um I want to continue. These are the cards I would use at Soul Contracts. I go in this order, this order, that order. Moon's Contracts. Moon's Contracts. Next, you know, few days. Surrender. So... It's almost like you're trying to control something which is not going to work during a full moon. So for those who are doing that, best of luck there. Okay. Um, and then you got blame. I take responsibility for my own well-being, my own shit. Okay. Um, so mind you, these are lessons, right? So you're either going to own your own shit and not blame anybody else or you're blaming everybody else but dealing with your own shit and then surrender. Like you need to, if you're trying to control something, that's way too many. If you're trying to control something, like it's got to stop. Like you're not... You're not using your higher self. Does that make sense? Like, you're not doing what you really want to do. So, it makes sense that the crossroads is even out first. 
it makes complete sense because that's like moon energy like some people are just like oh i don't know you know the death card came out so endings for new beginnings and then we have change <sighs> bring me a higher love Ooh. this is more of like an educational video for you guys I need to, Jay just texted me, so I need to peek on that because it's my daughter. For my newbies, I will always, always, always respond to children. So, my freaking OCD is kicking in. Well, you're dealing with someone with OCD because I don't really have OCD like that. Um, that's telling me someone's trying to perfect something. Stop. Stop trying to control it. Even if it's perfection, stop. It's, it's, you're lying to yourself and you're blaming somebody else. It's almost like if you were to say to somebody, go look in the mirror, they'd be like, Ugh, you got to go look in the mirror. And I'm telling you, you would get that. Ugh, you got to go look in the mirror. Because this is energy of like, you can't win the next couple days. And this is not regarding the energy, the read that I did the other day, like you can't win. Okay. But this is one of those scenarios where I'm, I'm picking up on the same energy because this is, this is like mirroring, it's shadow work. So I talked about it and I keep going back to it. So it's almost like if somebody wants to blame you, like you're not doing this, you're not doing that, or you're afraid, or you're this, nah, they need to look themselves in the mirror and this is somebody who doesn't want to face that they would rather be like no nope, it's something you need to work on but in all reality you guys are so strong and connected it's actually something they need to work on and they're unaware of it so you might be dealing with somebody who's you know an atheist a non-spiritual that is not aware of things like this and they learn on their own time if that makes sense Moons, the moon's contracts. Make the effort. So great love is worth taking a risk. And it's safe for you to love. Okay. So regarding romance, see this is like having trust issues, not feeling like it's safe, not wanting to open your heart. Again, trying to control a situation. I don't think it's an extreme control, okay, but it's, it is. This is somebody who doesn't want to open up, recognize certain stuff, possibly not want to be vulnerable in certain situations. I feel like you're dealing with somebody though is a very practical thinker and wants to make the right decisions. This is you lying to yourself or them lying to themselves. Or could possibly be lying to someone else. But um, you have overcoming difficulties. Okay, the worst is now behind you. You're surmounting the previous challenges. So that's positive. If You might see a feather. <clears throat> Or like a whale's tail. Even if you're like reading a magazine or something, it, it might be symbolic for you. <sighs> do, 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 do. Bring me a higher love. Ooh. And I, I think it's you, not anybody else per se. So you're going to change or you're not. Like I'm saying, this is what I'm feeling. There's like no evolution here right this second. Maybe for some of you. Or maybe you're like, okay, you can feel it is clearing, things are going well. Others of you, it's like, mm, not so much. You want more, but you're not really doing anything to create the change. So that's on you. If you're dealing with a romantic 
partnership, this is like saying you got to put more effort in because there's something here. So it's like you got to put more effort in. Great love is worth taking steps so that you're guided, okay? And then it's safe for you to love. So this is like not trusting. I don't know if there's insecurities here, but you got to put the work in. Maybe you're, there's someone around you that's just not willing to put the work in. If that's the case, then so be it. Others of you, I feel like this is either like a best friend, someone that's close to you. It's 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 full moon. There's someone around you. You'd be aware of this energy. Tell me about this crossroads. When I do when I do this type of lineup in Souls Contract, this is pretty much like the collective Patreon, but there's always a little something. This is like outside. Okay, so disappointed. So yeah, disappointed in where they're at. Okay. This is somebody who realizes they're not taking action either. This Five of Cups also shows it's normally the other way around where someone's staring at the Three Cups versus the Two Cups. Sorry, I didn't fix my camera, the focus part. Um, so now this is somebody looking at Two Cups. So it's the Five of Cups. So it's disappointment too at the same time. You know, disappointed with themselves for not seeing something because they see it. So to me, this is like self-deception because this is still somebody who's trying to control feelings. So to me, it's like an opportunity, Ten of Cups, see, it's, it's an opportunity to have it and you got the lovers. So there is a beautiful scenario between you and somebody or something is going to come in or this is happiness regarding parents now see there's a couple in the background and there's a couple holding each other here so somebody you could be disappointed that you just don't have somebody in your life like that but I need you to get past that so you can release that thought so that way something comes in if that makes sense I, well I know I don't know why I say it like that I hope that makes sense you know, like, if you're completely single, you would have no idea who this is. It would be like, why don't I have this? I'm I'm so sad of not having this. Every time I feel like something's coming, it's not. I always feel like I have one lesson after another. Like, it's exhausting. I know what that type of feeling can feel like, right? But majority of you, it's like you have somebody that you can be extremely content with and happy. See, shadow work, four of cups. So this is somebody who's who also fears rejection. You know, will they reject me? Maybe you previously rejected them or vice versa. Look at all the cups, guys. This is somebody who has to get in tune with emotions, vulnerability, like I said. Else we would not be seeing this much water. Okay. Um, and look at full moon, full moon. My gosh, Vinny. So this is somebody who's afraid of rejection. So there there needs more confidence is needed. And I would not go about like boosting somebody's confidence right now. Because I think that's what got someone in trouble in the first place. You were feeding somebody. You were probably both being fed. But then someone stopped feeding because somebody didn't want to get vulnerable. Now somebody wants to be fed while well, they just miss the feeding, you know. And I've always used the word fed, okay. I don't know if you, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's like attention, giving attention, you know. So this deception, this is somebody who's lying to themselves. This is somebody who knows what they want knows something went down the wrong way instead of owning it they're sitting in fear um and not everybody because this is a lesson so some people might actually take the blame and realize fuck i missed an opportunity i had something great now it's like can i have it back but you need to also work on you 
And this is also telling me you, you might end up settling for somebody else possibly because it's shadow work when you know your happiness was here. So, But you miss an opportunity elsewhere. That would be settling, not wanting it, being bored. Right, so instead of really working on something, because this would be working on it, you're probably more or less <clears throat> working. You know, keeping busy, some type of hobby, some type of something. You know, so instead of, see, this is what I'm saying. Instead of working on something, which is what you should be doing, the hangman's here, so you're thinking about it, six of pence, but again, maybe you just want the balance. Queen of Swords was reversed there, so... Someone could be, there could be a feminine or a masculine lying about wanting to work together. Wanting to really be with you. This would be somebody, now this would pull me to the energy of the other day, whether it's strong or weaker, depending on where you're at in the moon cycle and how you're feeling it, of the situation where somebody was staying in a situation, it was emotional manipulation, and some of it, it like wasn't going to subside anytime soon. And others, it was more and more Dane. Somebody was just staying around for, you know, um, stability, um, um, financial reasons, financial security, you know. So I wouldn't stay too long at your crossroads because right now you're in a five. Like change is needed. So don't stay there too long. And, and here's the thing. You, you already have somebody on your mind. And it's going to bring complete happiness. Again, for those who do not have something, someone, you're just upset it's not here. Well, I'm telling you right now, it's it's not here because you're not you're not releasing something. You it's poor me, why me, or I I don't want to do the work. Everything re requires work, trooper loops, right? Everything. So, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Hi, Max. Sorry, I just wanted to shut the door. <clears throat> Let's just get one more for deception. So, to me, someone is like six of cups reverse. It's almost like wanting to go backwards. So, it's, it's you're lying to somebody from your past about what you want. And it, it bottom, the bottom line is, is... It's all about your emotions, getting vulnerable. The nine of wands, this is being the warrior. This is someone who's been through a shit ton. But still has the fight left. So it's it's a matter of will you let go of whatever you're trying to mentally, physically, and emotionally hold on to. This is all about emotions. Is somebody doesn't want to get vulnerable. And this is all about vulnerability. And it's because of either past pain, past fear, because this is trust issues. Do I really want to put the work in? I, you know, I put the work in before. It's almost like someone wants to, is lying about putting the work in. I, some, it's like, I, I want a new opportunity. This is somebody who just doesn't want to do their own work. Somebody who doesn't want to go within. You know, so that can be taken in a couple of different ways. It just depends on, again, where you're at, okay? Now, this is like a different type of energy, I, I'm assuming, with the soul's contract. Possibly not. I just got the five of swords and the eight of swords. This is saying, staying stuck like it, when I was just kind of saying, you know, you, you're, you're allowing this energy, whether it's somebody else emotionally manipulating or staying for the wrong reasons. Okay. But to me, this is, this is more of a spiritual, you know, if you're going to communicate to it, honestly, you're doing it from like a higher perspective, whether you get rejected or not, that confidence is there. Like it's, you got the key to something, right? You know, you're able to tap in. So you could be very empathic around this time, which would make complete sense. That was the Princess of Pens and Ace of Cups. Whoa, okay. Okay. 
And that would tell me for somebody for a brief moment, you know, someone's lying about what they want. And here, again, it's like working on it, but, but lying. So you have somebody lying. Lies are coming out. That's part of the full moon, okay? Um, but it, it, to me, it's like lying to themselves because this is communicating honestly. Somebody's not telling you they want to work with you. They want to work together. Or this is a straight-up fucking liar. Oh, jeez. Hold on. This feels more like this is someone straight up lying about the direction they want to go into and whether it's with themselves or someone else. But I, I feel like it's like with someone else. Okay. Yeah, see, not making a move. Like, you're able to tap in, but, like, refusing to tap in here. Five of Swords. Okay, contemplating walking backwards again with something, and that would not be smart. This is somebody who doesn't want to put the effort in and they, they feel defeated. It's like that wounded warrior. But still won't speak the truth. It's like you can be a guiding light here. Like you're, It's like inspiration, like death. Okay, so that's like rebirth. But the fool was just reversed. So it's like not taking a chance. See, it's something with the past. Like this, this is like a transformation, but it feels like you're not allowing it. This is what I said. I feel like there's no growth. There's no evolution. Like someone's forcing it. And now you got the five of cups reversed. See, like still focused on those three cups and how something went wrong. Hold on. It's Lonnie. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. I'm on YouTube. Goosey goose. Um, well, for how much longer? Um, I don't know, let's say 20 minutes, half hour tops. Oh, okay, because I literally could play for that, but I was on Turkey today, but I'm not leaving until like 11. The town beach, right? No, I'm going to the beach today. The beach beach. Yeah, I'm afraid 90 degrees, it'll be way too late. You're talking about Lucy, right? I mean, you can leave it here, yeah. but I'm, I'm leaving here around 1230, but I mean, the kids will be here afterwards. All right, I'll call you after. All right, I love you. Love you, Somebody almost has like um, spiritual abilities that they don't want to tap into or they don't want anybody else to know about. Uh, not allowing change. We have the chaser, codependent, fear of abandonment. So it's like, it's like something's dead, but not deading it. Somebody still wants to keep coming back around. Something about this death card. I want to see if someone wants to transform something with somebody from the past or transform situation yeah see not today not dealing with it avoiding conversations still angry okay 
So it's like someone from your past still won't let go. Many options, decisions, unconventional, stringing along, one night stands. Jesus. So this is kind of pulling in from the energy the other day. You know, as a reader, it's very difficult to, to read this and see it. Especially if you're holding on to it, you know. If, if you take an offer from somebody from your past, they're lying to you. They're honestly, they're only staying for financial security. It's... <sighs> It does look like you have an energy here that's like feeling defeated, like I have enough, but you're still lying about what you really want. So it's like you're trying to work on something with something that's just dead and over and, and somebody doesn't want to leave a scenario, you or them, because of fear of abandonment or leaving someone behind. And it's like... The person that you're holding on to or the, the one that's holding on to you is is really holding on to you for the wrong reasons. Um, it actually makes me really sad to even read that because it's like not wanting to move forward because of past pain or still currently holding on for just all the wrong reasons, troops. Like you need to let go. Yeah, see, but this is awesome. The Ten of Wands reversed is, well, but then you got still holding back. So again, it's the energy of I don't, I don't know what to do, not having the strength, not wanting to, it's like let the control go. It's like I want to let the control go. I'm about to lay the weight down. Maybe somebody realizes that someone is trying to control the situation emotionally or financially and. I have anxiety right now. So whatever this is, is just it's so overwhelming and it needs to be dropped. Stop holding on. You want to know why things aren't moving forward and you are where you are? You know, so you got a feminine here that doesn't want to take the blame for jack shit. And of course, she's coming in as the queen of pence. She's putting zero effort into something, having you do the work and not wanting to take the blame for something that clearly went down. I'm, I'm really surprised this energy came out again because we just did this. And wasn't this actually the first full moon reading I did? My gosh. Tell me about change. You know, so this is somebody, you're dealing with a, a feminine. That's why I said to you, and I did, I said it the other day. And I, and I was wrong in the beginning when I said, it doesn't feel like the other day you can't win. Well, I was wrong. I said it and I wanted to say I didn't feel it, but now I do. This is someone where you just, you can't win. They won't take their own, they won't take the blame for what they did. And you're dealing with the queen of pence. This is somebody who upright is very nurturing, um, finance, she's got her own financial security. It, there's so many things, but reverse, this is somebody who's not even nurturing a situation, but is in it for the money. And it's, it, even if she makes her own money, I'll put it this way. She's in it for security. And change. Yeah, see? Four, four swords. Someone's doing absolutely nothing to move forward. This makes me sad. If you guys are holding on, man or woman... You know, a masculine did this to you, or a feminine did this to you, or you're in the midst of this. Please let go. Please. Find love elsewhere. It's safe to love. This is holding on for the wrong reasons. Like, this is depleting my energy. Like, this is this is so upsetting that it, it's... <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to just really let this go and you're overcoming these difficulties, guys. Honestly, maybe someone else is not making the decision and, and you need to walk the fuck away. I'm not lying. This is somebody who doesn't want to own certain situations, afraid of rejection, doesn't really want to move forward. Can They could have a family here, but they also have something that's kind of like meant to be a soulmate energy, but is doing jack shit about it. This isn't even thinking. 
This is, there's no evolution. There's no growth. It's staying with somebody and it's dead and it's over. But some, you're allowing them to cling on to you or vice versa. If you're married, there's nothing final. There's no contracts final. Things need to be finalized. This is killing your soul. Affecting your health. You're depleted. You have an energy here that is draining you. And I, I mean, I can't stress enough. This is, it's really upsetting me to read this. Because this is somebody, like I said from the beginning, go ahead, that is literally still holding on and doing nothing. It's, it's, and I just realized here too, financial issues are a factor right now. So yeah, you, you might lose some money, especially if this is going to involve a divorce. It's like, what are you waiting for? Oh my gosh. What are you waiting for? Something going in, going out. Do, 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 do. I don't know what that song is. Tell me about making an effort. So if you're waiting for somebody to make an effort, please don't. The fool. This is a journey. It's a spiritual journey. It's 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 taking your knowledge, taking your wisdom, what little you have, and just doing it and going for it. And that might be leaving someone behind. See, it's it's safe for you to love. You have the six of swords. It, it's moving forward. This is like spirit stressing. Just because you've had one bad experience does not mean that you cannot love again. And not all love feels the same, hurts the same. I didn't even realize I had cards down there. All right, so that's, I don't know if somebody's worried like, oh, like I don't know if you're dealing with an energy here that's like, got hurt so bad, like, I never want to love again, blah, 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 every, all love is different, it comes in different shapes, forms, feelings, thoughts, desire, you got a very special connection here with the two, with the two of cups, but it was reversed, I don't read these reversed, but it was, so that's basically telling me you've been hurt in the past, and, and it's like, look, you're still looking at the past, you know, it's like, you're not moving forward, and it is safe, so you're basically staying in a situation, some people, because they're afraid to be alone or they're afraid to leave someone behind because of how somebody else is going to feel or react. It's just, this is extremely overwhelming for me to continuously read. So I cannot stress enough that it is so important for you, if you are in this scenario, do not wait for anybody. I do not advocate waiting. Do not wait for somebody, for an opportunity to come around. Like, stop. Move forward. Let it go block no matter if this is a, a masculine or a feminine doing this stop this is somebody who's stuck they're not doing anything to make progress at one point they were and this is somebody who's like the ten of wands reverse is, is wonderful this is somebody who it was letting go of the baggage but yet was still holding on with the four of pencil, not really doing it. So it's like, this is somebody who's smart enough to know they need to do that, but is not doing that. It's a very disappointing read. And this is part of the moon reading where this is all about release. Hermit, they're not saying anything. They're not doing anything. It's, it's, it's very upsetting. If any of you guys are upset, Please purge this, deal with it, accept it, move on, let it go. Let it go. Even if you were dating somebody and they were in this scenario, they're still not evolving. Let it go. This is a feminine that will not take the blame for anything, won't put work and effort in. This is a masculine or another feminine still holding on to somebody. And, and for what? This energy is depleting you. It's, it's killing you slowly. It's it, Your health is going to shit. 
All you're doing is working. You're lying to yourself about what you really want. You might have kids with somebody, a family scenario, so you're going to let it stop this beautiful connection where it's safe for you to love. You've learned. It's time to go. It's time to move on, and you're not. You're not even putting the effort in. This is spirit saying, go, do it. You are overcoming the worst, but it might not be this person overcoming the worst. This this would be you in the worst dealing with this person and it is time to let it go. Because this is somebody who's not moving. And it could be a feminine here, but regardless, it's still it's still linked to a masculine or another feminine that's allowing this. I, I really was hoping you would get a different read, guys. I'm so sorry. This is what's mainly important is, is letting this go. Oh, my gosh. And even if this was a friend of yours, I don't even know how you sit back and watch. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't. It would break my heart. Yeah, there's a commitment here. And they're doing nothing. Why? Abandon. See, somebody doesn't want to abandon somebody. Somebody doesn't want them to feel abandonment issues. The chaser. There's a feminine that's still clinging. Or again, a masculine. And something's over. And they won't accept it. It's like a marriage. They got a wedding bands on. And it's like they just don't want to be abandoned. Or they don't want this other person to feel abandoned. I'm like, I'm like losing my breath. I could cry. It, it's like, because this is not love that's reciprocated this is someone holding on to somebody else because somebody else is fearing they're gonna let them go like I don't I don't even know how to relate to this energy or comprehend this energy I've been through so many lessons and pain in my life that when something like this was to even come around or if I was in a scenario like this like I just I would not hold on to it anymore but this is obviously clearly someone who has not learned this lesson is not learning is not moving forward they're afraid of rejection if they go in a different direction if they leave this can they have what they really want like this is somebody in their own insecurities this is somebody who wants to not do their own work you definitely have a feminine or a masculine here that's telling you they want to work on it. And they're lying. Lying. Eight of Pence, Eight of Pence, deception. Ace of Swords reverse, lying. That's double confirmation that whomever you're dealing with is lying. And they're doing it for stability reasons. Coming in as the Queen of Pence. They're, so you're dealing with somebody who's got money in the bank or somebody that if something goes wrong, if the car breaks, they're able to fix it. Um, late on right and something happens, they can help out. You know, something goes down in the family or paying for sports. Or this other person they're dealing with is, is more than capable because if they're married, like it says with a commitment, they're dealing with the king of pence. And no matter if you're filthy rich or you just have enough to get by, you're dealing with somebody who has an amazing heart and will always help you out so they're this is they don't want to so it's like a feminine or a masculine does not want to let go for financial security whether the, and this is somebody who makes their own damn money okay and then you got the other masculine or feminine that won't look good because they're afraid to abandon this person they're afraid of change in their own way because somebody else literally broke them um, and they're just afraid of change. They don't want to leave this person behind. Co-dependent, fear of abandonment. So you have a feminine or a masculine. It's kind of telling me a feminine, but it can go either way clearly, just so you guys are aware that they're not leaving because they don't, this person will feel abandoned. And it's like, it's breaking their soul. This is very hard for me to read. And I don't know how many times I need to say that. It is, it is. Because you are wasting time. You are wasting your energy. It is time to go. It is safe for you to go in another direction. So someone clearly came into your life to prove to you and show you what love is. And it is now time for you to make an effort. Get on your fucking boat. Leave this scenario. Oh, leave it. You have you have the yin and the yang. It's the two of cups, guys. It, it's the perfect match. It's a soulmate. It's safe. You gotta go. 
And the fact that you even got that is mind blowing because you're not even doing the inner work. So obviously you're a good person and you deserve the best because you're getting the best. You're getting a match and it's still not enough for you to let this go. So it's like needing to work on your own insecurities too. It's it's devastating. The It's devastating. It really really is that you're not moving forward because you're afraid of rejection and you're afraid of leaving this person behind. And so instead of changing and evolving and growing, you're doing nothing. I, you will be stuck in another cycle if you don't surmount this, if you don't get past it. So I'm telling you right now, if you know this person, if you were dating somebody who was in a marriage, but they were separated, but there's still no finalization, you're better off just leaving this scenario because this is not, this. no one's budging. It's awful. They're allowing somebody else's energy to affect their energy, which is then going to affect your energy. If you were the one in a relationship with this person, it is time to go. I was really hoping other stuff would come in. Okay. Um, and if you have absolutely nothing, nobody, you're still holding on to something that caused you a lot of pain in the past. Okay. For others of you, I want to do this. Now that we know the scenario, we know the deal. Okay, let's just get honest. We all know the deal, okay? Um, even if somebody else knows the deal, they're, they're still allowing it to happen. But I'm going to tell you this on, on a whole nother level and a whole nother story, okay? If that does not relate, I am telling you right now, somebody is right around the corner. You need to make a move. Stop doing what you're doing where you're at. If you've been contemplating, you go. Two feet forward, go. It is time to go. You will have someone. You're fooling yourself here, thinking you're not worth it or something, okay? You need to open your third eye. You need to use your higher power, your higher, higher wisdom. You've been through something. You've already experienced certain stuff. It is time for you to be a different person. Let go of pain. Let go of whatever went down. Let go of, even if somebody doesn't want to take the blame, this would be an, an, a, an example of, I need closure. No, the fuck you don't. No, the fuck you don't. Okay, change, make a move, do something. If you got to block, block. Be a guiding light. Don't don't wait around for somebody who's doing nothing. It is safe for you to go in another direction. It is safe for you to make an effort. Don't hold on to something that is not reciprocating. Oh my gosh. Regardless, at the end of the day, no matter who you are, you are overcoming difficulties. Not the ones that are clearly in that awful scenario, okay? Well, yeah, but once you let it go, right? You got to push through challenges. You gotta, it's like you want to go in another direction, but you're not because you're afraid of leaving somebody behind or making them feel abandoned. And you want to know why? I guarantee they were felt abandoned as a kid. It was either the people in the commitment, either he felt abandoned or she felt abandoned. Like, so it's like they don't want to do it to the other person. But you're literally affecting your own health, your way of living, your happiness. You're not evolving. It's sad. It hurts to even realize I have a group of collective that's doing that. It's it's painful. And if you're dealing with somebody and you know that's a scenario, your best scenario is to stay away. I hate to say it. As hard as it is. Because this is somebody who's not allowing evolution to take place. So please go in another direction. Make the effort to go in another direction. If they're not going to make the effort, you need to. There's good things coming. I feel good things coming. But all good things aren't going to happen if you're holding on to this. I love you guys. I hope you have a kick-ass next few days. Bye.